while flying. And meanwhile, on the dire side, VSJ seems pretty happy to be playing his Luna, going for those Lunar Leaps right now. Possibly the Ogre's going to get caught out. They should uh, know that he's there. There's going to be a slow in from the Silencer. Can they actually dive this? It's going to be glimpsed back by Jubi, and he manages to get far enough. They should be able to kill off the Ogre match right here. He is very tanky, but eventually, VSJ, he actually went for the Lunar Blessing level. Do they have actually? Yeah, they do have enough control for this as the Astro Prison comes through to from Tomato. Tomato, tomato. That's a <laughs> an ogre match that looks dead. So we can introduce the rest. In terms of our waiting setup, we're going to have a double tri lane setup at bottom. We'll see who comes out on top of that one. Disruptor's already gone for the glimpse, so there's going to be no kind of harass from him in terms of the thunder strike. Eagle goes forward. He still has that arcane curse on him. He still has a couple of these heroes down. Ursa glimpsed back, so he's not going to be doing enough damage to Eagle, but he's already taken more than enough. And Eagle going into the trees. Can they actually find this kill? The vision Very all hits there from the ogre, place. and he'll be able to pick that one up. But now BSJ has to back up a little bit. Keep going for some CS because this ogre, uh, the boots of speed, <laughs> he'll get all the way up to Haste. 10 napalm stacks. And all Snake King wants to do is just keep those up. Disruptor finds a haste rune. How far does he want to go on to this? Ogre's going to be standing on the high ground, blocking Dyer's it off. Now Wei Tzu, he needs him to move. Wei Tzu's going to be slowed down a little bit. BSJ going around the side. Wei Tzu to the high ground, slowing down Eagle as well. BSJ could be in some trouble. The Winter Wyvern's Arctic Burn is going to end, and that will be a kill going to Eagle. He'll get another two intelligence there. <laughs> It's bottom lane and it's very strange. Both these carry heroes really want to <laughs> continue to farm, but <laughs> with these heroes getting very low, they're being called to help their team out a little bit here. Doing pretty well. We'll probably get silenced here. It's not so bad right now though. Okay, Fire Blast goes out on the silencer. That's also going to be a slow. He needs to get denied by the creeps. It's not going to happen. Winter Vyvern finds the... Finds the audio attack there before Silence here can give himself over to those neutrals. Now Zizzy could be in some trouble himself. There's a glimpse available. They're going right over towards Zizzy, and he's right next to BSJ and the Disruptor. Eventually, BSJ manages to stay alive. Can he be taken down here? Gonna be using the South to try to stay alive. And now Ogre Magi in trouble. This bottom lane is just a complete clown fiesta here. As two guilds to go the way of freedom, and this is something you absolutely cannot have happen. Luna's sitting at four assists so far. And you have six Moon's stolen blessings. intelligence on Silencer already. This is not really the way that Duop were hoping this bottom lane would go. I mean, sure, she doesn't have a whole lot of support. <laughs> I know gets the uh, bottle charge over from Jubei. At bottom, BSJ in a ton of trouble trying to stay alive, but the Splinter Blast is going to take him down, but now Eagle just turns right around Enemy with the double damage rune doing a ton. Fire Blast does come through, they need a little bit more, he does get him, end up getting killed by the Wyvern. So again, just some more kills at bottom. Intelligence keeps going over to Silencer, so he, surely he's happy about that. Disruptor venturing a little bit forward. Kills going every which way in the bottom lane. That faithful courier delivering the power treads there. Maybe. We'll use the glimpse and he also gets the kinetic field there. He goes very low, but nobody's going to get in range for the damage there. Eventually, Luna does find the kill. BSK puts another one in the pocket. The ogre illusions are going to be a little bit annoying. Down a little bit, and he might actually get things turned around on him. Alchemist uses the ultimate. Can they actually find the kill here? Luna does have some good damage. They're going to throw out the kinetic field, but it's really just zoning for now. Throw down the Chronosphere, Alchemist. I mean, he's still healing up through this. They're even going to use the Eclipse for it, which does end up killing him just as the ult ends for Alchemist. And they might see him yet. Yeah, they see him moving around with the Observer Ward. They'll put him back over towards the trees. Astrum Prison's going to be there. Now they have the Kinetic Field. I don't think that Duov can react to this fast enough, and that Rider in so much trouble. That's a kill going over to the team Freedom there. Middle is under and I think at that point Duop should know about that word, but I play there. Could be good for a Glimpse Snake King. He's gonna get hit with that kinetic field. Put back over to the side. And you use the Astro in prison. Here we go. That rider in a ton of trouble. He's gone a bit too far this time, and I guess that's kind of the name of the game for Freedom. Take advantage of the other team growing impatient. Because that's really what that was. For blood, I'm a bloodthirsty caster. Zissy got the Invis rune ready to go onto the void. He should be able to make it out of this one. 
There's a lasso. Blink lasso is there. Ix Mike in a ton of trouble. There's gonna be the silencer ultimate though. Can Void get out of this? He gets the time walk away. This is how balanced this hero is. Puts down not the best Chronos here, but it does manage to catch out the Ogre Magi and keeps the faceless Void alive for a little bit longer. Freedom respond. Mistakes made. Duo thought that they could initiate onto that hero, but as soon as that silence ultimate drops, you don't really have the spells to be able to do anything. That's kind of how it works. Meanwhile, at mid, OD finds a kill onto the Winter Wyvern. Alchemist forced to respond to this. There's going to be a concoction from him, and now Alchemist uses his ultimate. I'll try to regen there. Juby is here. Ursa goes forward. Let's see, Aegis popped. Can Freedom actually respond to this? A Hurricane Pike is available for OD, and he'll just get out, out of there. Maybe doing, could be doing a little bit more damage to the Ursa, but doesn't even need to. Put it into the Astron Prison. That should be the kill. Bowser just wants to get in range for the Stolen Intelligence, and now Glimpse is back onto the Batrider, bringing him back into this one. Ix Mike, right towards the Ogre Magi, gets the stun. He's just bashing him all over the place. Some more kills for Team Freedom. As as soon as that Aegis is gone, Snake King and Zizzy, smoked up right now, could definitely jump on a hero. Oh, they'll pick up the Luna, but there's the sounds for ultimate. They don't really have the damage for it. She'll just go into the Eclipse. She kind of stuck in the trees a little bit there. Zuby trying to go away. Not going to happen. One loose and beat from this guy. Ends up killing her off. Juby, he's just so far forward right now. They'll use the Winter Curse onto the Silencer, but it doesn't matter at all. BSJ finds another kill. They'll give one over to the OD. Team Freedom, they'll stand for nothing. You try to initiate onto them, they'll just thing in, but I completely understand the Mantis style. In fact, that's really a standard item for most moves. It's just... Interesting for a team that's this far ahead. Four staff forward from the OG. They want to go right for the Batrider who might be able to blink out, but he's not going to have that up. And he may go for a firefight there. There's going to be a glimpse back. Ogre Magi in so much trouble. He silenced as well. He's got no avenue out of this one. Another Aspen Prison used. Can Team Free to go even further onto this? Way too in trouble. Four staff forward. He doesn't care about the cold embrace. Tomato just gets the kill again. Triple kill. I want to be discovered here. Way too could be in so much trouble. Here comes the Shadow Blade in from IX Mike Juby. He had the Invis rune as well. Way too in so much trouble. Glimpsed back. Don't think he can get away from here. Meanwhile, at bottom, there's a bit of a fracas going on or possible. BSJ, Lasso, Dizzy Air in with some damage, but can they even take down the Luna? Use of Samantha style. Pretty sure they know which one is hurt, but there's going to be the Silencer Ultimate. BSJ trying to do as much damage as possible. Surrounded by three. Doesn't kill any of them. And Duop get away. So that's actually a huge kill for them. Maybe the Silencer gets killed here. I mean, if they can lasso him, that's definitely the pick. Snake King goes forward. And, oh, four staff away. <laughs> he gets pulled in anyway. Lasso says that he's going nowhere. And since he has more than enough damage, even going to use the Enrage to get it. They're going to put the Ursa into the Astron Prison. Can't really blink away from this one. Now the Silence is going to come through. Orchid Beloved, so much damage from the OD, and he's just going to pop. There's no way he gets away from that one. Oh, Dyer's man. Middle tower and BSJ is still looking for the Alchemist. He'll, he'll just blink out. Uh, BSJ not really getting it. Juby going forward. What's his vision like? He's actually going to see the Alchemist there who has the concoction going. His best bet is to try to blow up next to Juby. But now BSJ comes in. He's going to get stunned right in the middle of the Assets player. He has to get out of it. Trying to work with position a little bit. Way too. Forward. There's got to be a blink back from the Alchemist. He's still in the trees. And... Right now, Duop are being forced away from two cures. Here comes a three-man Chronosphere from Ix Mike, allowing the rest of his team to get back up there. That is absolute wreckage from Team Freedom as Duop, they get 100% dumpstered there. That was probably the fastest I've seen a team go down here, and Team Freedom absolutely dominate their way to a Game 1 victory.